Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's a little chilly out today. It's 55 out right now. It was 53 when I got up to milk, so I had to dig the sweatshirt from the depths of my truck because I probably haven't worn it since May. I need to get them washed, but I'm gonna go haul that manure that I was talking about yesterday. For those of you that didn't see the previous video, um, I'm cleaning the scrape manure out from our heifer barn, so that's where I'm headed now. As you can see, it's runny stuff. That's how it gets in the summertime, so keeping these dry cows in. I'll have to bet their pen probably, what is today, Wednesday? Probably tomorrow. And it'll be all right till Monday, so. If I put air in these tires, that's how they, they get sometimes when it gets a little cooler out. I don't know why, there's gotta be a reason why. Probably a little cracks. That's just what it does. I swear every time you use it in the winter time, you're filling her up. So I'm gonna go get the skid later, get on the job. That time of the year again, kids going back to school. I just see some Amish kids getting ready to get picked up for school. Um, our local school district starts tomorrow. So let I don't go to school anymore. I don't have the mindset I could never go back to that, but what you got to do when you're younger you don't really got much of a choice as much as i wanted a choice there was none you were going to you were done Let's see if the bees will fly out oh, they're in there they're glaring and bowling milk man was here today tanks washing so here's our skid loader new hauling l175 it's foot control that's what we run around here that's what we're good at running I can run um, H pattern too, but you get me on um, the one that drive, one drives, one uses the bucket. That's like learning how to walk again. I cannot. I drove one one time one day. That was a clown show. So I'll stick to foot pattern and H pattern driving. So foot control. This is the loader arm. This one's the bucket. Some people say they can't drive that. kind of manure and there's a little bit of straw uh, I'm taking this up to a hay field that we're not making anymore this year so even if it don't break down this year it'll break down through the winter and be all right till the spring so I like to put it on these hay fields that I can't take the manure tank to because then it'll make it grow better in the springtime yeah we need a little air as I expected a little bit Stuff's heavy. Okay, tires are full. We'll start our trucking to the field. It's kind of a far field. This is by no means a super big year. Like they're still they're still growing some of them, but this is probably the best year of corn on the farm, which is good because this is going to be combine. 
we don't chop up here. It's just too much of a hassle. Too, it's just not fun. We could if we really needed to, but we don't want to. So yeah, most of them got two on, and they're big. So let's get some. Let's hope we get some good yields up here. So that is a shelling variety that we got up there from Pioneer. So tell you what, those Pioneer guys, they know what's up. We got some good, good cops growing from their seeds. So not a sponsor yet. Okay, see how I destroyed my camera gets if I set it up to get shots of me dumping in the spreader. This might not be a good idea. to get this field covered that I don't have at the moment. So many of you that have been watching the channel for a while know about old Scratch Cat. Well, I was just up talking to Grandma and he's just walking around, rubbing her legs, trying to get in the house. So Scratch Cat's one-sided, or double-sided, I guess. He likes Grandma, but he don't like me and Dave. I tried to be nice to him, but he don't want no part. On another note, I'm going to hook this tether up and get it pulled into the shop, unfold it, and see if I can get this hydraulic issue fixed that I'm having. from there something is wrong and I'm gonna find that out hopefully so I talked to a crone guy pap talked to him there dealer the one day and he said to check all your connections make sure they're tight because that accumulator valve is getting air in it so I'm gonna go through check all the out or all the connections let the air out of the accumulator again and then we'll see what she does so this one we'll try it Actually, it's kind of loose. But why would they come that way? Because I've never touched this. This thing is only two years old. Okay. Okay, now we're going to break this thing loose and it'll foam. Let her foam, shut her back up. Hopefully this doesn't happen anymore. Well, we're gonna give her a, a test fire fold and see what she does. I'm gonna then unfold it again because I wanna grease it here once I get a new part for the grease gun. So I um, folded it a few more times here and keep loosening this and the foam keeps coming kind of at a loss. I know it's not the tractor because I just used this to rake yesterday and it was just fine with the hydraulics. So I might have to call Crane and see like what's going on because I don't know. This should not be doing this. I mean, you've seen how slow it was to unfold and this unit's only two years old. So 
I'll get it figured out one way or another because we can't have that. I don't want any question in this machine for when it's go time. So we got to get her fixed. Luckily, we're kind of a slow point right now. I mean, I don't think we might not be doing any more dry hay this year, but I want to be ready for next year or if someone needs help. I want to be able to help them, tell them not tell them that the tether's down. So I get, I just got off the phone with Messix and they said that once these things get kind of wear on them, they don't fold down as even. So one side will fold, the other side will fold. So I'm like, okay, because when we first got it, it would fly down. And I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing something because I hate for us to have hay down. And this thing get hung up and not go down because I don't want to be waiting. So, I mean, if that's the way it's gonna be, that's the way it's gonna be, I guess. So at least I got the up and down fixed because it was like an inch from the ground and that ain't that just doesn't work so that's the way it is that's the way it is so it's gonna be lunchtime here shortly so i'm gonna let this thing unfolded get a new part for the grease gun at lunch grease that up lunch and then i gotta start going get this equipment ready i mean i'll have to grease this wagon again check it out for corn salad because that's coming and once again we don't want this in question when the corn's coming off you that's why you take days like this. It's raining out right now. So take days like this, get the equipment ready to go for when it's time to go. Well, I got dad's tractor, forks. i load this bad boy up. I got a new hose for the grease gun and it is incorrect. So I'm gonna call another dealer about this and see if I can get other um, opinions because I don't, I'm not fully for, that's just how it is. I don't really like that idea. So I'll let you know what happens. Well, that call went a lot better, I think, in a better direction. Called a different location and he's telling me this thing's probably definitely bad, which I kind of figured on that. Um, and if this doesn't fix the problem, we probably got an issue in the valve body, which I kind of hope not. So I think put a new one of these on and then go from there, see if that fixes my problem. If not, we'll have to see about the valve body, which I don't really want to replace or get fixed. I mean, I will if we need to, but that's this thing because all these lines go to it. Well, okay, that's a lot better answer. Nope, test tonight. Here Craig's, he is, the one and only. Craig's here. <laughs> <laughs> so Craig's here testing the milk. Put this meter up, and it gives more of an accurate reading than ours does. Use it to determine what cows to keep, what cows to rid of. There's all sorts of things. I can bore you guys with it. There's Big Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Megs are going to a free hat food meeting about seacorn tomorrow. Right? It's gonna be fun. There's Craig doing what he does. Get milk samples, something to drink. By the way, we gotta get somebody else to hook up meters on the other side. Why? First two cows milked 100 pounds because the meters were turned wrong. Oh boy, Biggie. No, I think somebody else pulled the camera hooked him up. <laughs> it's the next day, Biggs. What are we doing? We're going for breakfast. Well, it's a seed corn meeting where you get free hats, donuts, and food. Mr. Dower, I believe, Pioneer Breakfast. Yeah, that's where I got this hat and every other Pioneer hat before that. And then we're going to pick our seed up that I wanted to plant yesterday. See how that went, didn't you? Yes. It didn't go very well. Oh, there's a school bus. First day of school for the kids. Sad for you, buddy. <laughs> I don't go to school. I went two years. I'm done. You went two years. I haven't went two years. I graduated. I'm done. Anything 
else to say? Gotta head for uh, sinus. Yeah, Biggs thinks he's sick. Are you sick or are you playing me? I'm a little sick. I gotta know. Look at that cornfield. That's a shelling variety. <laughs> That's snap. It's donut time, buddy. Oh, look at the Snapchat king. I won't give you his information out because everyone will be looking him up. Unless you want me to. You want me to tell everyone what your Snapchat is? No. What are we going to do now? Oh, now he's on Facebook. I'll tell everybody it's your Facebook. We're back. It's like 11 o'clock, but we got... 1119. Free hats. <laughs> Gee. We got to get the seed, get the drill. Oh, man, we're ready to go. It didn't rain at home. It clapped here. <laughs> yeah, it did. Don't hit Timothy. Heading to the seed shed. As long as your tie rod didn't break on the way back. <laughs> and you're putting that on national television. On the channel. Huh. Head back to our good buddies, Green Park Seeds. To a seed shed. Get 17 bags of cover crop. 1734. Huh? They're 50 pounders. Yeah, that's said 17 bags. 34 bags. I'm getting 1700 pounds. Oh, I'm getting freaking confused. Huh? 1700 pounds is not 17 bags. Well, yeah. All right, we're gonna cut. Don't be losing the seed. <laughs> it poured oh, right, it poured go. it poured rain hard not at home no, hard. at Loisville well, it just pound it pounded well that's gonna wrap this video up um, hopefully in the next one we'll be getting this cover crop put in the ground so we'll see you next time thanks for watching that's one heck of a video <laughs>